And I just want to say how much I love you and happy birthday. This is completely a surprise over here. You had planned on singing. Since you asked, I don't know if this is going to be enough. Here we go. Okay, here we go. First of all, I can't believe I'm 70. My memory is still intact, by the way. So first I want to help putting this together. I want to thank my wife, Carla. And my son, Troy. And as I look out on all these smiling faces, uh, all I can say is uh, I really can't wait to meet you all. Uh, this, this bash was, uh, you know, I was going to memorize this, but, you know, I'm like, hey. So, uh, uh, this bash was my idea, uh, and, and not only because I'm vain, because certainly I am, but, but more and more these days, I, I hear about our contemporaries uh, who have passed away. And at all those funerals, and all those memorials, friends and relatives get up and praise the deceased. Everyone gets to hear how the speaker felt about the unlucky stiff. However, the lifeless honoree has no opportunity for rebuttal. <laughs> so consider this a preemptive strike. <laughs> now, I may live to be a hundred or be hit by a driverless car tomorrow. <laughs> so I would like to express how I feel about all of you while I'm still breathing. <laughs> you, my family, and my friends are my greatest source of joy. At some point in our journeys, we have shared victories, losses, or rites of passage, and developed deep bonds. When someone asks me what's my favorite thing to do, the first thing that comes to mind is to laugh with my friends. And I say this knowing the car that is in the room. <laughs> so let me add that your presence, my dear, in spite of the rain, um, is assumed because we uh, are indeed one. And I, I need you to be there all the time to tell me stuff like, you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> And to Roy, it gives me great pleasure when, uh, to, when you, you know something on Jeopardy that I don't. <laughs> now I'm going to proceed uh, chronologically. So to, to my relatives and uh, their spouses here tonight, my brother Dino and sisters Julie and Lisa, my cousins Diana and Marina and all their spouses, thank you for always accepting the challenge of having to determine if what I'm saying is true or I'm just testing out new material. <laughs> I appreciate your patience and sacrifice, especially if the joke sucks. Please know that being the eldest, I sometimes carelessly abuse my position as your lord and custodian. <laughs> Forgive me, your attendance tonight makes me very happy. <laughs> to my high school buddies, Tom, Pat, John, could it be that our Catholic education has caused us to huddle together in fear, guilt, and shame for 50 years? Strength in numbers, I say. I only wish that our doing part of Vince were here to be the funniest guy in the room. Thank you, Elaine, for keeping him in line all these years. We all love you dearly. To my college buddies, Will, Bryant, and Mary, uh, three events come to mind that have cemented our relationship. Watching the Watergate hearings together at Kips in Berkeley, between classes. The pullout from Vietnam in 1973, I was set to be drafted with the lottery number of nine. And number three, and who can ever forget, Tencent Beer Night 
and a very lenient establishment on Telegraph Avenue, of which I have only two memories. Standing on top of the tabletop making eight noises <laughs> and passing out at someone's house shortly thereafter. <laughs> These magic moments from 50 years ago, yes, I did say 50, have made me smile and sometimes heave with just a little. <laughs> I want to think about next <laughs> To my best friend Stu. Hey! 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 Stu, a barista at the Bato Eve in Berkeley. Uh, that's where I met him uh, while I went at table there. He suggested we, uh, we wheel Shalea at the fifth race exact at Golden Gate Fields. And he made me 300 bucks richer. Uh, that was a lot of money in 1976. Uh, we'll always be there for each other, and thanks again for letting me take your job, Juniper, backpacking with me in 1978. She was a great company and a cheap date. Uh, I'll always be there for you, you and Mindy, and family. So my crew wants some stand-up, which are scattered about. Uh, Clark, Bob, Mark, Johnny. Uh, Thank you all for being here from the beginning, uh, and, and Tom, uh, and uh, in the beginning for myself, and never telling me that I did. Thank you so much. <laughs> and the many nights of camaraderie before and after every show. And a special shout out to Tom Sawyer for having that state-of-the-art baseball video game machine in the back office of Bob's <laughs> on Chestnut Street, 1983. If it wasn't for that machine and that night, I never would have met the car. <laughs> so my corporate colleagues, corporate uh, comedy colleagues, and it's Ken, Martin, and William, thank you for letting me in the club and showing me a new way to be funny for money. Uh, writing together, performing together, trusting each other to get the job done, your wit, your professionalism, all those great presenter dinners in Vegas, LA, New York, Chicago. I'm a huge fan of all you guys. And may I quote the legendary Fratelli Bologna. When I say, oh, yes, when I say, I know, I know, but you know, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> David and Sandra, all I can say is that your charm and talent are immeasurable. Uh, Cara's cousin Tracy and her husband uh, Craig, great friends, fun times always. Uh, again, uh, to my son Roy, who puts up with me, saying, hey Roy, what do you think about this joke? And, uh, and who shares my love of music and baseball and is always there for tech support. Of that, I am most proud. <laughs> 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 and finally, to my wife, who has so many excellent qualities, uh, none greater than tolerance, <laughs> for loving me almost as much as you love Louie. <laughs> That's our dog, or should I say, her dog. Um, you're spending half of life of my life with me, and more than half of yours. Uh, and in closing, I just want to say thank you all for being here. And I promise that when we do this again ten years from now, we will all have name tags. <laughs> And extra chairs for your caregivers. 